dress Marion got me. It's got the kitty cats on it. Like we said, it fits me just fine. It's a little small around this area here, but it looks really cute. This is my outfit for the day. I am, uh, it's like, oh man, we got up at eight. We had some breakfast down in the, um, the, the, the hotel, I guess. And uh, now it's like nine-ish. My video is from yesterday is uh, uploading right now. It should be up in like 10-ish minutes, which, will be great uh, i'm going to walk down to uh, monument circle uh, it's like a 10 minute walk and there's a comic book store there and i figured i would pick up a couple of comic books or something like that that i can read while i'm over at the cat cafe my reservation for that is 11 comic book stores opens at 10 and then i don't know what i'm gonna do after that um maybe get that bee coffee like i mentioned yesterday i'm gonna maybe see if david wants to hang out with me but He's usually got plans. Uh, Derek might want to get lunch around one-ish. And then the baseball game day, day, David and I are going to is at 7 p.m. So I've got a couple of things spotted in for today and I uh, just gotta figure out my morning and start uh, getting out and doing stuff. Um, let's, let's, let's do it. Oh man, these windows are more dirty than I thought. Okay, so let's talk about some stuff down there. The guy is putting up the Gen Con flags. They're going to be like um, at every one of those lampposts around the whole city, um, which is really, really cool because Gen Con is just everywhere and I can't wait for the whole city to become a Gen Con city. Um, I am in the Western right now. Here we've got the little park that is uh, just outside the Western. And then we have, oh my God, this window is disgusting. Uh, well, there we go. You got that Hyatt over there. This is the convention center. It is uh, massive, but um, right in those doors right here is where will call is and event registration, all that kind of stuff, customer service and uh, all that good stuff. And the back over there is um, where you're gonna have like the vendor hall and event halls, all that kind of good stuff over there. We've got the Lucas Oil Stadium, takes about at the most like 10 minutes to walk over there if you have games over there it's not that as much of a hike as you think it is also if you are staying in the western there's a hamster tube let me show you that over here not so bad at all see that hamster tube connects to the convention center you go all the way through the convention center and there's actually a connection directly into lucas oil so you never have to leave if it's very hot by the way the weather today is about 85 or so so it's not bad it's fine. Let's see over there. Oh man, you can't barely see it. Yeah, so over there, I believe, uh, that is where Georgia Street is, I think, because I'm really bad at knowing where I am at any given time, but that is where the um, block party is. So that's where they do the keg tapping of the beer. They've got a bunch of food trucks out there. It's just really great um, lots of fun. If you look over here, back there is where the Union Station is. There's a bunch of events out there. This is probably the furthest walk from here for any of the events. Again, it's like 10 minutes, not a big deal at all. Uh, I believe that big building is the Omni. And this one is the Crown Plaza. To my side, which you can't see over this way, we've got like the two Marriott hotels. Oop. And can we see anything else interesting from here? I believe, see right up there on top of the Hyatt? And that's a restaurant that like rotates and stuff. At some point, I want to give that a go because that sounds like it would be something fun and silly to try. Lots of food options this way. Over at that next corner, kind of where I'm pointing, we've got the Steak and Shake over there. The Ram is just around the corner. And that's actually also the entrance to the mall. And you can actually get to the mall Again, without ever stepping foot outside, you can just um, take hamster tubes and stuff like that. So that's where we're looking right now. It looks pretty good. And then uh, I am currently, we're going to head like this way to go to uh, Monument Circle and pick up some comic books. So let's go do that. Let's see if we can get a shot of both the convention center right now and uh, 
the uh, Gen Con banner signs that I just showed you from like the roof of my room. To get to the hamster tube from the west end, you actually go to the second floor, not the ground floor, because obviously the hamster tube's not gonna be on the ground floor itself. And uh, let's go into the convention center. This is my first look at the convention center. By, by, in person, I've seen some people post pictures. So now I'm going in. It's a little warmer than I expected, but it's still uh, still nice, it's still fresh, there's a good breeze. I don't think it's quite 85 yet. I would be much more warmer in my like long sleeve dress if it was, but it's, it's, it's fine so far. I have a feeling that, because it's only like 10 a.m. that once we had like two or three in the afternoon, it's gonna get really, really, really hot and sticky. It is quite humid actually now that I think about it too. wonderful like you probably just saw it yeah, I highly recommend it. it was five dollars to go pet cats for um, an hour I, I got a chai a nice chai latte and it was like five dollars for that it was really sweet like if you like your chai lattes and coffees like really really sweet I recommend it but if you prefer them like just kind of sweet uh, it's probably not gonna be your thing and uh, they were just kind of, it was very like Harry Pottery themed. And um, they were playing the Harry Potter soundtrack and each of the cats had a, had a Hogwarts house. And they had like partnered with a bunch of different 
places so they were selling vintage clothes and t-shirts and um, all the cats that are there you can adopt and uh, take home I guess so it was really really fun the cat's really playful I really like the huge chunky cat I think his name is Puma and uh, yeah now I'm just at the Circle Center Mall look at those things I'm at the Circle Center Mall and I'm looking for some Converse and um, let's see if we can find some and then I'm gonna go see Derek and we're maybe gonna get lunch I'm not hungry yet so let's see getting a little windier now and it's a little uh, cooler and I hear there's a uh, rain coming in this direction so our baseball game is gonna be real fun if it's raining we'll see but it's not as warm as it was And the show office is now in 116 instead of 112. So it's just across the hallway if you're looking for it. Derek, why would people look for show office? Lost and found, security issues, complaints. Is this problems. where Lost and Found Children go as well? Sure. Okay, cool. Uh, cool, thanks. I also got this little jacket at, um, oh man, it's cuter than I thought. I got it at the cat place. Um, and it was four bucks. You're very cute. Oh, thank you. Oh. Hey, Derek, I went to uh, Downtown Comics. Uh -huh. It is a 10 minute walk from the West End. Yep. It's at Monument Circle. Uh -huh. And they have a bunch of comic books. And they are ready for Gen Con. And so they've got a before. bunch of stuff. Yeah, it's really good. So the first thing I got was this. And uh, Derek's here to verify and tell me if I got something good or bad because I wasn't sure what I was getting. Well, are you excited about the things you got? Uh, yeah. Then yeah, you got the right things. Well, just tell me what I is know, that? I know, but just like it's all fine. Okay. This is Miss Marvel, uh, a Muslim American superhero. Muslim American superhero, and she's like high school age or something like that, mm -hmm. maybe just coming out of high school. And this yeah. is a what's it called? A trade? Trade paperback. Trade paperback. So it's like instead of getting a bunch of the little comics, you mm -hmm. get them all in a booklet like that. Yep. And Wolverine's in it. You gonna read this one? Yeah. Oh, hey, Rat Queens. Yeah, Rat I didn't Queens recognize special. this one. It says uh, the Swamp Romp. Well, it says it's a special, so, because we have the hardcover collections. Yeah, and I figured uh, I probably didn't have this one, so if you, uh, what, what, how would you describe Rat Queens? Rat Queens is probably the best D&D comic out there. It's a bunch of uh, hard-drinking, hard-swearing, uh, hard-murdering uh, adventure ladies. It's real good. Yeah, I highly recommend it. It's so good. I got this one, which I know nothing about. Oh, yeah. uh, so this is Paper Girls. Uh, I don't know a ton about it either, other than a lot of people compare it to like Stranger Things, but with time travel or something like that. Uh, but it's supposed to be very good. I think it was just optioned for a movie or TV show or something like that. Oh, cool. Yeah, I got this is issue 21 because they had a trade cover trade thing, but I didn't know if I was going to like it. And I wouldn't want to spend a bunch of money if it wasn't going to like it. Sure. Hopefully you like it. Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Oh, I just like this character because she's like a black girl mm -hmm. with a dinosaur. Yeah, I mean, people were excited about this when it was announced. Uh, I haven't heard a whole lot about it, really. Um, so I don't know how it is, but I remember people really liking it when it first came out. I like dinosaurs and I like her. Mm -hmm. So I'll let you guys know. It's issue 37. <clears throat> Squirrel Girl. Everybody loves Squirrel Girl. I do like Squirrel Girl, and this looks like it's like a Stan Lee special or something. Or just a, a, a monument to him or something like that. And it's Tank Girl. Yeah, I don't know anything about Tank Girl, but I figured she could be a badass kind of female character. She is. Um, People say good things and bad things depending on who wrote the thing. I don't know if you will like it. I think it's a 50-50 shot. I think she's, she's super awesome. She's pretty badass. Uh, but I also don't know how much the other characters will annoy you. I think somebody knocked on our door. Well, we can go find out. But this is also the end of a trilogy, so... <laughs> Great! 
So the donut place, I think it's, is it called Jack's Donuts? Oh. It's on the, it's on the bag. Yep. Jack's Donuts. Uh, we discovered it last year. I mean, they've been there probably for longer than that. But I discovered it last year and brought some donuts back for Derek. And uh, he really, really liked the one that had um, uh, white fluff in it, I think. Marshmallow fluff. Marsh uh, they called it white fluff because of probably branding or something. Uh, so we've got a raspberry filled, a white fluff, and a Belgian, like a, one of those one of those German cream filled ones and uh, he really liked them so I got him some more I also got a cronut hey so I had a little bit of an outfit change because it is no longer as sunny as it was you can't really tell but uh, I'm gonna put on my new shoes that I got see if I can break them in a little bit. I've got these trousers Keep my legs a little warmer. They have a pocket and a hoodie GMHQ and this just in from David. What? Nothing. Where is the pin flyer? I, <laughs> I have no idea where the pin flyer is. I haven't seen it. David, I really want to know and you always know. No, they don't know where the pin flyer is. They do not appear to put it out. <laughs> Here, wait, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> FYI, that was about us uh, complaining that there's no pin flyer yet. Maybe there is one this year. Um, but last year, uh, someone, Gen Con or Phone Brain, released a, a little document that showed all of the different pins that were going to be part of Pin Bazaar. And David and I like, like David and I like to figure out which which pins we like and which booths we're going to go to to try to get those pins. But we can't plan this year because they didn't release the pin flyer. And the thing that is annoying is that the pin that I really liked last year I couldn't get because. They had a limited amount at a booth that you had to demo a game for to get, and they only had like a really small amount. So by the time I got to the booth, they were all out. And I didn't want a repeat of that because I really liked some of the pins. So I was going to plan to go to the ones I really liked first so that I avoid me crying. And it, it sounds like Foam Brain or Gen Con just wants to make me cry. I'm just saying that because Marion is right here. <laughs> okay, we're ready. We're ready. Are you ready? Yep. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is so fun. I'm totally going to die. Wait up. There's a warning on here that says not to stand on the back wall in motion. Well, <laughs> I am a... You're a rebel. I'm a rebel. Show off is 116, right?
two dates, my two boy dates. And uh, we're gonna go see, I guess, Indianapolis. Yes. Do they have a name? The and Indians. The Indians the, versus... The Columbus Clippers. <laughs> the Clippers? Like the boat? Like, yes, like a clipper ship, even though it's a landlocked well. <laughs> So, as you can tell, I'm not at the baseball game. Um, the guys at the stadium were just total assholes. Um, they checked my bag for, like, I don't know, weapons, I guess. And I was like, oh, you should check out my steady cam because I didn't want them to use it for, like, a weapon because it's a little strange. And then the guy had to call over security and they're like, your selfie stick is too big. We don't allow selfie sticks. And they wouldn't understand that it wasn't a selfie stick. It's just... Like, I'm not gonna like reach out over on top of people's heads with it. It's not possible. It's not a goddamn selfie stick. So, they wouldn't let me in. My feet are totally wet. I walked through the rain twice. Um, I was going back to my room to put away the selfie stick. Come on, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Um, but then I guess the rain picked up, so David and Harvey are likely giving up on the game as well, because while it's raining, they can't actually have a baseball game just because it's unsafe for the players. And uh, I guess David and Harvey gave up too, just because the game's probably not going to happen and it's really wet. Um, I'm just pissed. I'm in a shitty mood now. The time currently is probably like 7.30, something like that. Uh, so there's still like time to do one cool thing. We just got to figure out what that is. Um, I could potentially just edit and go to sleep, but I would like to do something different today just so that it's not just like, <laughs> so that this vlog isn't just like, I saw the empty convention center and I did some shopping. Like I'd like to show you guys something else and that was gonna be baseball. It's not baseball now. Yeah, we'll see what we come up with. I will be back with a report as soon as I have chilled out a little bit and I'm less grumpy. And, uh, yeah. to eat at um, the punch bowl that was my idea and it's fine it's behind it's like the next street over from where the ram is and it was fine and um, you saw pictures that they've got a bunch of like games and activities and stuff like that but it ended up just being really loud which is what I would expect from like a bowling alley karaoke type of place and um, the, f the beverages were fine like, none of us were super, like, excited about the beverages we had. And then we ordered a little... I ordered some coconut pineapple drink. It was fine. And I had ordered the chips and guac, which were... The guac had some weird sweet things in it, like maybe raisins or something. And the chips were stale, so... Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I would recommend it. I mean, I would go there expecting fine and acceptable food. It's probably fun if you're going for an activity rather than like just food and beer or drinks. But maybe if you're playing bowling, like the activities part of it and the food not being great is okay. And then we went to steak and shake on our way back and I grabbed some fries because I wanted some fries and 
And uh, yeah, the baseball game in the end, it is now 9.30, 10 p.m. And uh, we just got a notification about the baseball game because it was raining. They were continually delaying starting and they just said that at 9.30 they would start playing baseball. So in the end, like we got there at 7 and then I was rejected so I had to leave. Uh, but it was a two and a half hour delay to start. So that would have sucked to just stand in the rain at, at a baseball field would have been terrible. So I'm really tired today. Last night I ended up being up till about 3 a.m. And then I got up at 8 a.m. to start my day today. So I'm tired today. Also, I don't sleep very well. It's not my house, it's not my bed, it's not what I'm used to. Um, and I was kind of, you know when you like set an alarm but you don't trust it? And I just kept waking up thinking it was past the time I was supposed to get up even though I didn't really have like anything to be up for. I don't know, maybe it's like an, an anxiety thing. But I don't sleep super great. I think I'm gonna sleep great today. So now that it's like almost 10 p.m., uh, there's not much more left to do other than to edit my video. And there is a very, very slim chance that I could get to bed by midnight and then sleep. And then there's not really anything major I have to be up for. My friends don't get here. So Sandra and Matt will get here around 3 p.m. Wouldn't be surprised if Stuart get it, gets in roughly around that time too. So Wada gets in tomorrow morning sometime, so I'm really excited for that. And um, Desmond will be probably here by three as well, something like that. And then David's around, so David and I will probably hang out during the day a little bit. So everybody start, Gen Con is gonna start getting real pretty much tomorrow. So I'm really looking forward to that. And yeah, I'm looking forward to getting some sleep. Maybe I'll have a lion or maybe I'll just not rush out in the morning. I'll, I'll get dressed, I'll go get some breakfast and I'll come back up here and maybe watch some TV or something. I am excited. Ooh, fries, I'm gonna have some fries and edit my video. And then I might go to bed early.